Effective Communication Mastering Verbal and Nonverbal Signals Hello Language Learners! Today, we're diving deep into the world of effective communication, specifically focusing on verbal and nonverbal communication. This is crucial not just for our everyday lives but especially in business and workplace cultures. Let's uncover the magic behind words and beyond them. Verbal communication is all about words. It's what you're hearing right now, spoken language. It's the primary way we convey our thoughts, feelings, and information to others. But did you know that the way we say things can change the meaning entirely? Tone of voice. It's not just what you say, it's how you say it. Saying, that's great, in a cheerful tone has a very different meaning than saying it in a sarcastic tone. Pace and rhythm. Speaking rapidly can convey excitement or nervousness, while a slow pace might show confidence or indicate thoughtfulness. Often, what we don't say speaks louder than our words. Nonverbal cues play a significant role in how our messages are interpreted. Body language. This involves how we position and move our bodies. Standing tall might show confidence, while slouching can indicate tiredness or disinterest. Facial expressions. Our faces are mirrors to our emotions. A smile can warm up a conversation, while a frown can signal disagreement or confusion. Gestures. From waving hello to pointing at something, our hands add an extra layer to our words. Eye contact. It's often said that the eyes are the windows to the soul. Making eye contact can show attentiveness and interest. Communication isn't just about talking, it's also about listening. Active listening involves fully concentrating, understanding, and responding to what's being said. Feedback. Nodding and using short verbal affirmations like, aha, or I see, can show you're engaged. Avoid interruptions. This shows respect for the speaker and ensures you catch all the details. Effective communication goes beyond words. It's a dance of verbal and nonverbal cues, intertwined to create understanding and build relationships. Remember, it's not just about talking. Listening is half the battle. We hope this insight into verbal and nonverbal communication aids you in all your future interactions. Until next time, keep communicating and keep learning.